Yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Ty back with another banger. Yo, so today, right, we're going to get right on topic of how to stay motivated while you're on your Forex journey. Now, you know, we may be in two different spots in our Forex journey. So, you know, uh, sometimes it may be hard to relate. You know what I mean? But I'm just going to go back, right? I'm going to go back and basically say how you do one thing is how you do everything. All right. Now I'm going to roll this clip, right? I'm going to roll this clip. You'll see me uh, practicing in a gym and you'll notice the way I'm doing my flips. The way I do my flips is, you know, even when I fuck up, I'm still constantly going and constantly going and constantly going. So definitely repetition is the way that you can get to the next level. Repetition is the way that you can grow to the next level. Now there's not a, it. Now when it comes to repetition, obviously you need to be doing things right. So you need to find out by doing trial and error, right? By doing trial and error, you know, what are you doing right right and what are you doing wrong because you can keep doing the wrong set of actions over and over and over and you're going to keep uh, getting that same uh, error or the same result that you didn't like previously so the first thing you need to do is this thing called three c's catch it check it change it right so catch it right so catch it catch what's going on catch what's going on okay this is what's going on all right check it check it check it means okay you finally understand what's going on you finally understand hey this is how i can this is how i can take it to the next level this is how you know i can get ready to go into this next phase of three right changing it right so how you change it is obviously you just change that set of action or you change the course of what it was that that it is or if you're seeing the result that you want right you don't need to change it you need to keep doing more of that with forex it's the same boring as uh the same boring as thing over and over and over you're going to take the same set of actions over and over and over you get to the market you do the same thing that's how you make your bread you switch your strategy you're going to switch your result it's like baking a cake right as soon as you change something inside that formula guess what's going to happen to that cake well you already know it's not going to come out it's perfect it was coming as it was coming out you know and how it was real it's like two or three o'clock in the morning right now i'm up um playing fucking nba 2k21 you know what i mean i'll be on my mind player so i'll be vibing so i was like man i need to go ahead and drop some motivation because like i do it when i feel it you know what i'm saying so um so we did we did the repetition right we did a repetition so the next one right how to stay motivated is to listen to your first mind now when you're trading right you got this thing called an intuition and like i feel like you don't have a strategy problem i feel like there's a billion and one strategies out here but once you see blue right you did something right once you go on profit one time then you did something right you're going to profit two or three times okay then you're doing something right two or three times you need to stop whatever you're doing and go study damn okay well what exactly did i do right okay yeah i might be going wrong here but fuck the wrongs because i know i know that i can be right right if you just study exactly what it is so what you need to do is go back to the drawing board ah okay i was more patient here oh okay well i did fire a little bit earlier here i was impatient at, uh, at this level you know what i'm saying so you see how just being able to analyze your uh, or do a self analyzation on what's actually going on well that's how you're going to be able to grow because that's how we grow anyway you have to catch it you have to check it and you have to change it the three c's right the three c's so always use those uh when it just pertains to just doing shit in life period and once again how you do one thing is how you do everything everything so in one area of life if you know if you kind of like if maybe you're a starter and a stopper and this is what i mean right so like let's say you start on something you start on something you go for it and then once it gets a little bit hard you stop and then you're like oh well that's too hard so i'm gonna go fuck with this over here you go start something else somewhere else right you, you start on the starter and then it gets a little bit hard and you're oh this is too hard and then you go to the next place so you don't want to be a starter and a stopper because that's going to basically keep starting and stopping you from where you want to go right you got to push through that shit. so if you apply that in every aspect of your life but just pushing through moving through to that next level guarantee guarantee you know you take the um guarantee you take your, your your life your brand whatever you're trying to do to the next level because you're not a starter and a stopper you're a finisher you know what i'm saying and what's dope right so i'm playing nba 2k i got my finishing badges and shit and um what's dope about that that's when you get your hall of fame you know what i'm saying but it's all about finishing a lot of people can fucking start everybody oh i'm about to start i want to start growing a garden oh i want to start you know with this everybody i feel like you have the most motivation when it is time for you to start something brand new you feel inspired you feel oh this is gonna take me to the new level this is you, your mind starts getting filled up with all these ideas and then reality strikes that yo this shit is gonna take some work and yeah it is gonna take some work but once you realize that that's what's gonna take you to the next level. Oh man, get get accustomed with that working part that's coming with it. Get used to that shit. 
oh yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of work, but this ain't nothing but a little bit of work. You get what I'm saying? It's all about your mindset and your approach and how you look at the game. That's once again, what's going to take you to that next level. So you want to know, oh, Ty, how'd you grow to this point? Because I fucking 10 X my mind. I 10 X my actions. I've 10 X so many different things in my life. And the reason I'm saying 10 X is I'm about to relate it back to a book, right? Uh, Grant Cardone, the 10 X rule. I uh, read that in college. Um, and it really, once again, it took my life to the next level. I was doing, I was already good at, um, I guess, doing, doing and taking a lot of action. And then Grant comes by with his, concepts of oh shit well you thought you were just doing this well how about you do even more like damn you right i should be doing more but once again it all depends on the type of person you are maybe maybe you aren't that inspired maybe you just want to do whatever it takes you know because uh like some people right some people like uh i was listening to um some of the people that got onto my stream yesterday right and they were like uh one of the guys was like well he's not he doesn't really he's not looking for, to be extremely rich he just wants to be financially free you know and that was like a hell of a concept like damn like not everybody wants the same things you know what i'm saying so figure out what it is that you want and then you go pursue that right and once you pursue it you can use forex to aid that right? You can use force to aid that. So my why, right? My why. I told you guys what, what it was from the jump. People, well, why'd you get started with force? Because I'm in the entertainment business and I'd be damned if I let somebody control me. So being able to have access to invest by myself, right? To, to have the knowledge and know-how to be able to move and manage my own shit, man, it just, it puts me on a level to where I can tell people no. You know what I'm saying? Companies reach out to me all the time and maybe their brand doesn't fit with my brand. So I tell them, no, I'm not fucking with that. I'm not promoting that. You know, I won't be affiliate for that because I don't believe in it. But there are some companies that I do like working with. And, you know, as you see, when I uh, when I go ahead and put on this big ass show, you can be like, damn, OK, I didn't know they came in as a sponsor. But once again, you know, it's knowing yourself, knowing your brand. And once again, if you want to really pr uh, progress in your Forex journey, this is a battle between you and you at the end of the day. Don't let nobody tell you anything different than what it is. I, I can only help you to the point where I can be do the therapy for you and tell you, hey, it's going to be all right, my guy. Uh, it's gonna be all right lady you know what i'm saying you can get to the next level but I, I literally can't be there pushing the fucking buttons for you now there's pam accounts and things like that and there's other ways you know what i'm saying where you know if that's an option that you would like then obviously there are people who would do that for you you know what i mean but i'm working with the sharks here we work with the people who are you know assertive and really want to take their shit to the next level you know what i mean so next right next right so I think we already spoke about inside and outside motivation. Inside motivation, obviously, you got to stay motivated. If it's hard to stay motivated, get around people who are inspired. If you can't be around those people who are inspired, what you need to do is watch uh, things that help you become inspired. So when I first got started with free running, right? Now, a lot of people, they try to put me in a box. Oh, Ty is this, Ty is that. Motherfucker, Ty is an ever-growing person, an ever-growing brand. And to say I'm this or I'm that, it's putting myself at, at, a, at, a, at a disadvantage. You get what I'm saying? I'm an ever-growing person. I'm always thinking, I'm always forward thinking. I'm always trying to go to the next level. But let me tell you about when I first got started with free running, right? It was this dude, Tatis Strength. All right, Tatis Strength, I seen him online. He was uh, he was doing like calisthenics and free running. His name is Chris, right? So I seen him, they were in Cali. They were used to train at Venice Beach and shit, throwing these wild ass flips, doing these wild ass calisthenics things. So I'm like, yo, I want to be a part of this community. This shit look crazy. Like it, it's what I wanted to do. I'm like, well, first, how do you get around this shit? So I'm studying, I'm like, oh, okay, they train in Lakewood. So so I seen where, uh, where they were training at one day, right? I'll show up to the Lakewood YMCA, uh, wait, Lakewood YMCA, right? Show up, uh, I signed in, it was like $5 to go to the open gym. Uh, I, shit, everybody's there, you know what I'm saying? Like these are people I was watching online it, it looked crazier in person than it did online. You know what I'm saying? Throw, they're throwing the wildest shit. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So they had a phone, like a little phone pick. So I just, you know, stand on that motherfucker and just start throwing shit. Boom. Like, they're like, yo, so just by me, right, taking action, it got the attention of people around. They were like, what the fuck, dude? You're wild. Yo, throw that shit again. I throw it again. They're like, nah, man, when you throw it, you got to, you know, snap like this. So the thing is, what I'm telling you is, see, when you take action, right, and you're taking action, you're at least trying, you're going to have people around you, right? People around that show the fuck up, that assist you in your journey. No, that's not the way to do a backflip. You know, stand like this and boom, that's how you do a backflip. You know what I'm saying? So that's, uh, that's you know, that was like the fourth part of my journey. And that's what I'm talking about, inside, outside motivation. You know what I'm saying? That shit motivated me to go to a next level to grow, right? Mentally to grow. You got to think every time I'm doing a flip or some acrobats, like if I don't, if I'm not mentally committed, I don't throw that shit. 
You know what I'm saying? So how does it work with Forex? Like it's the same hesitation with that. It's your intuition telling you, don't throw that flip right now. You're not ready. You're like, ooh, I can't do that. You like, you already know how you're gonna land. And then bam, you you like for the people who do acrobats, they know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But in your feet, you you can you can feel you can feel your fucking flip and your landing before you take off. So you know how where you're going before you come back down. You know what I mean? So um, that's that inside outside motivation. So you know after that, um, I joined this big ass group called Strength Project. You can look them up on YouTube and stuff. You guys will see me at YouTube um, with a rush from Strength Project, just doing a lot of projects and stuff like that. I've got a chance to work with some amazing athletes all around the world, including like uh, Cali Muscle, um, Cy Monster, uh, a lot of different b-boys and stuff like that uh, i remember b-boy kml he was the first b-boy to put me on front street out in venice beach you know what i'm saying like i was uh, i was known for doing the front flips over people so kml was like yeah they got heard you was known for doing a front flip over people yeah that's what's up okay cool they get mid show bro just called me all right now we got time boom 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 about to do this front flip he looked at me like you ready like hell yeah i'm ready in my mind i'm like fuck this shit crazy i really about to you know what i'm saying got that shit done uh, knocked that flip out and at the end it just felt amazing like I think I had front flipped over like four or five people at that time um, But I used I was used to doing a lot of people, you know, what I'm saying But this was the first time it was like Venice Beach first street There's a fucking legendary K-Mail right here b-boy K-Mail like man Hold on, you know, what I'm saying that Venice Beach is the spot if you guys know anything about you know the performer arts and um, Basically uh, high power acrobats like that's the spot where you go and get off You know, what I mean so being able to do that shit and it was just like yo I did that during the show that shit was fire once again like I said you know okay i'm telling you all this because i need you to understand my mind yeah okay i'm good at forex but man beyond all that shit look at all the look at all the trial and tribulations that i went to to get to this certain point you get what i'm saying so <laughs> i'm bringing all of that in me right it's me versus me i understand myself i told you i'm not busting a fucking flip if i'm heaven if i'm hesitant okay oh no i'm hesitant i don't feel that shit i can feel it you know what i'm saying in my feet before i even before i even take off the same thing with the market i look at that shit and i don't feel it i'm not fucking with it nah i don't nah, i don't know i'm not it, my intuition said i don't know it didn't say go nigga that shit said i don't know you get what i'm saying i listened to my first mind my second mind right now your second mind might happen and be like man take that shot just go nigga hold on but your first mind said hold on it's just like see obviously if you listen listen to your intuition you will understand that it's the guy that's gonna basically show you and tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing you know where you should be at you should you the thing is you can feel that shit you know what i'm saying energy is contagious all right talking about nigga how we gonna graduate our mindsets to get to the next level this how you gonna graduate your mindset and get it to the next level you feel me Nigga, you gotta, the people gotta be there. You gotta be there so that, so you can grow. You know what I'm saying? So ask me who I'm influenced by. People who have achieved ultimate greatness. I'm fucking addicted to the championship mindset. That's why the, the my tag on YouTube, championship balling. That's my YouTube. Instagram, championship balling. It's a mindset. I refuse to be number two. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, that's how you gotta do it. You gotta wake up, grind your ass off, go hard, man. And uh, you're gonna definitely achieve all your, your dreams. All right, so now some books to read, right? Some books to read. So obviously we talked about the 10X rule. Uh, definitely you need to go get that. Um, shit, I got a book coming out soon. You definitely wanna go get that. I ain't gonna tell you the title of it, but you definitely wanna go get that. It's gonna take you to the next level too. Some more books that you should read. Um, the Richest Man in Babylon. Okay, we talked about the 10X rule by Grant Cardone. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. You need to read that book. It's gonna get your mind right. It's gonna get your mind right. If your mind not right, it's gonna be hard for your grind to be right. If your mind not right, it's going to be hard for your grind to be right. You get what I'm saying? So let's get it in, let's get it in. And then also, so watch who you're around. Like associations are everything, all right? Like, so <laughs> this one is crazy, right? This one is crazy. And I had to learn this one like early on, just growing up, being in the hood and shit. Like, nigga, associations are everything. You know what I'm saying? If you're over there with one pack or this pack, like regardless of, I guess, you know, when you're around people, you, a bird of a feather flocks together. So let's say a certain group is targeted. If you're within this group, hey, that's just what it is. You're a part of that shit. You're a part of that shit. You could be like, oh, I don't fuck with this. I don't, hey, at that certain time though, birds of a feather flock together and that's where you were at. So if you're in that crowd, people gonna deem you as whatever it is that that crowd is. You know what I'm saying? On the streets, you guys know how that shit is. You know what I'm saying? So many people, innocent people, you know what I'm saying? Just 
motherfucking bystanders just for being around the wrong crowd. You know what I mean? So definitely you want to uh, catch it, check it, change it. That we going back to the three C's. Hey, if you know this not what you want to do, be a part of. If you're not really about that life, then go get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? Go get your shit together. Go get on your grind. You know what I mean? And that's how you're going to grow and get to the next level. Now, I ain't going to keep you here all day. Like I said, we, you know, um, we always going to come back with them bangers. Uh, my plaque is on the way. So I appreciate you guys for helping me get to that 100K. You know what I'm saying? We running that bitch up. Once again, you know, I got that Trader Die album on the way. That shit about to drop. Um, what, 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 what month are we in? July. So it's dropping next month. We're going up. You're probably like, man, you said he's going to drop it last month. Look, y'all want a fire product or not? You know what I'm saying? I got you, though. Um, so I got songs in there like five to a thousand. I got songs in there like uh, always makes sense. I got songs in there like uh, Forex Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Shit that just really take you to the next level. What I like about Forex Jordan is it talk about the uh, market alerts and setting alerts and setting stops. Now, like I said, I put this shit in the game and the music because I want you to understand what's going on. I was like, market got alerts. I'll be listening for it. Bing! And it goes off. Nigga, like, yeah, bro, this is real life. So if you could adapt that mindset right to your game, you going to the next level. Once again, it's your boy Ty, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.